Hello everyone, hope your day is going fantastic. What we have for you today is a winter gear guide going over some of the best winter gloves, winter hats, and thermals that you can get. This is stuff that I use when I wear, when I'm deep out in the mountains, when it's you know below freezing and you need good gear. So let's go over some of what I got here on the table. So let's start with the gloves. So I have these North Face Montana gloves. These are a really thick winter snow glove. These are the warmest rating and they're waterproof. They have the E-tip feature. That's what this little button thing is for. It has a little Velcro at the wrist and it's pretty wide opening. Look how big it opens. So it's easy, it has a pull tab here. Now I don't know what these are for this elastic, uh, to, to hook it to something, I'm assuming. And then you can see the insulation here already. So these are highest warmth rating, but they're also super thick. So you get the sausage fingers. So the dexterity is the least, but it's the warmest and it's waterproof. And this is the Montana line. They still have this line currently. This is a popular snow glove for them. I've used these out in the snow. These are highly warm, but the problem is, is the dexterity. Trying to use these to grip the steering wheel or push the buttons on your car or anything is pretty difficult to do, but it does fit over anything like you have a watch on or your coat fits under it or over it, whatever. These are highly utilitarian. They have the clip that will clip to the other ones so it doesn't get lost. That's a great feature to always have. So these are the Montana gloves. Warmest and waterproof. Most expensive too. Now these are a brand new item. These are the Montana Utility SG gloves. So these are a hybrid, kind of between two different models I have here on the table. These are brand new for this season. These are marketed to be the one glove to take from the office to the slopes. So these have a good warmth and waterproof rating. Now they're a little different than the Montana gloves I just had, but these are what it's based off of. So you see it has the same features in the palm, but the wrist is a little different. It's like a sweatshirt cuff, right? So a little bit different on the wrist, but it still has the pull tab to pull on. And it does have the elastic thing as well, whatever those are for. So these are the Montana Utility SG gloves. They come in green or brown. I got green. These are a brand new item. They've only been out for a short while. But I can vouch for these that these are extremely warm and waterproof. I wear these over the Montana ones because they have more dexterity in the fingers. So they're just as warm and as waterproof. But... The cuff is a little bit different. These are super affordable. These are only $55. So you can get these at Cabela's or Bass Pro too, or you can buy them online. So I highly recommend these. These are a sweet glove. The lack of color choice is the only downside. So these are a good price, good warmth, and they're waterproof. So these are perfect for what they are advertised for from the office to the ski slopes. Then you have your Apex Plus E-Tip gloves. So these are kind of like a middle of the road glove that has a good amount of warmth and water resistance, but there are some that are better. So this is only a two on the warmth instead of those that are a three. So it has insulation, but it's not as thick as the other ones. So the other ones is that, that, that Jersey polyester knit fleece. And then, so these ones though have great amount of dexterity, like these for driving your car or for using anything with, you know, your fingers. Perfect. The cuff is a little bit different. It's uh, a little bit like that elastine material, they call it. The pull thing is attached to it. It does have the E-tip. It does have these little grippies. Can you see the little rubber grippy thingies? These are awesome for gripping the steering wheel. So I used these all last year until they came out with this new model. 
These are awesome. These are the Apex Plus E-Tip gloves. These are black. They come in gray also. So these are a perfect middle of the road glove. They're somewhat waterproof and they're a rating of two out of three on the warm. They'll get you by, but when you start getting into the freezing temperatures, you need something a little bit better. That's why I have those other pairs. But these are a great fall glove. And then you have the just the cheapy um, stretchy gloves, the E-tip gloves, right? But these do have some insulation. They'll block the wind a little bit. These are the least warm and the least uh, uh, waterproof. But they do have a lot of little nubby things, so I actually wear these. Um, driving the car and you can wear these and have the other gloves um, over them so say you want to wear this well it'll fit in there no problem you can wear both of them so now it's double insulated it makes the dexterity go way down but in the end you can use them together so um, I like these skin tight gloves to uh, use when I'm driving or I wear these inside in the store I don't really like to wear a lot of layers when I'm inside, so I wear these instead. So I have um, gloves on inside the store, and then I, you know you don't have to touch anything nasty or dirty or anything like that. Wintertime, people have colds and they're sneezing all over everything. So these are actually quite expensive for what you get. I think for a few more dollars, you're better off getting a different model, but these are basic. These are the E-tip gloves. All right, now let's go over the hats. I have two different hats here. So these ones here on the left, these are the Salty Dog, and these are the Jim Beanie. So a little bit different. These ones are much warmer than these ones. So the Jim Beanie are more simple. These ones are thicker and heavier. So you see on the inside, they have the, uh, like the sweatshirt material, and it goes all the way through the hat. Right, all the way to the top. On the other ones, it only has a little liner on it. So it has different logos depending on the color. So this one is green, obviously. And then the navy blue has the same logo. And then this one, this is a new model that they just came out with. This pattern here is this season's color pattern kind of thing. They have coats and vests and booties that all match this. And then uh, the black with the big logo. So they also have ones that just have the big logo. Those are not this. Those are a different one. So um, I got these to match all my different things, so on and so forth. So I have a different color for whatever I'm wearing, right? And then these ones, the Jim Beanie, they just have a, a fleece lining around them, you see? So it's just the fleece lining around them. And then this, the wind can get through this. So these are not as warm, but you may not need something as warm. So I wear this style when I'm out running. This is what I wear on top of my head. And then I have a hooded sweatshirt, so if it gets too much, I can take this off and then I can just wear the hood or nothing at all. So these are nice because they're nice and small and convenient. So I keep one in my car too. So I have a couple more of these. Um, I only have a couple displayed on here. But this is all of these ones. These are my really warm ones, so I only wear these when I need a superior level of warmth, I would say. And then you got your thermals, right? So these are the Seasons Thermals that I just got. So they, again, that color pattern here, that's what this is going to be. So these are essentially long underwear. These are knit thermals. It's one size. These are a size medium. I've worn these several times. It's essentially like wearing a dry fit thermal. That's what it is. And I just got the other color pattern. This was delayed in the mail, but you see it's called the men's waffle base layer set. So they're essentially long underwear that are breathable and they're flexible. So if you're looking for some winter gear, here's some good choices that I have that I use between gloves and hats and thermals. So we have the men's Montana gloves, warmest, most waterproof. Then we have the very similar version that has more dexterity, has a little bit difference in the cuff and is less money. These are the Montana Utility SG gloves. Then you have your Apex Plus E-tip gloves. 
These are a good middle of the road glove that has some waterproofness, but not a lot. And then you've got your entry level E-tip glove. You have your really warm salty dog beanies, and then you have your less warm Jimmy Jim beanies. Then you have your base layers of your long underwear, what they refer to as a base layer set. So here's some winter gift ideas or some winter gear ideas to keep you warm while you're outdoors this season. Stay tuned for more equipment and gear reviews. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you again.